Hi there, Jason Cunningham, Evolved Baits Ambassador. We're here today, Burton Farm Fishery, and we've just spent an hour or so breaking holes in the ice to fish through an ice hole. And I'm going to show you the power of the Evolved Baits River and Drain. It's actually the new version of the River and Drain. It's the same as the old mix, but it's ground a lot, lot finer. So it's a lot more user friendly for winter fishing. You've still got the same, same ingredients, the, the choco amino, the crushed hemp and the, the finely crushed oyster shell for the for the bit, bit of salt content. So it's exactly the same ground bait, it's, it's just milled loads more finer. Mixes up brilliant. As you can see here, I've mixed and probably mixed half the bag up there. It's it's lovely and fine and it smells gorgeous actually, it smells really chocolatey. Uh, hopefully these roach and rud and possibly some skimmers might might like it today. Not gone mad with the feed. It's winter, it's freezing cold. It's literally literally there's probably probably ten to fifth ten to twelve pinkies in there at the most. And just a little tiny tiny a tiny walnut sized boiler ground bait. And feed that. That might be all you'll need to feed all day, but it's like just keep just keep feeding a little bit very little and often. Pop that in there. Rigs. Rigs I've got today. I've set up two rigs. Identical depth, I've just plumbed up the same. One's one's a light rig, one's an heavy rig really. On the on the heavy rig, it's got an O10 main line, a 0.4 of a gram float. I've got a five Preston Dura slip elastic, which is lovely and soft, going down to a small bulk. It's about four and a half to five foot deep out there. And there's a small bulk, a number 11 shot, and then just a couple of number 12 shot droppers going down to a 16 chuck length and an 18 hook. The hook length's 08 diameter on that rig. And then the lighter rig, which is set the same depth. It's just got a light threes elastic. It's our nine main line this time. And I've got a little tiny, little four, uh, point four little pencil float just for lowering it in against the ice. Because a lot of the fish you'll find when you're fishing through ice. I'll back off and, I'll, and they'll be at the extremes of your peg, sitting under the ice for cover. Bulk's very similar. It's obviously a slightly lighter float. It's still the same bulk in number 11s, but I've got two number 13 droppers this time, just for a little bit of delicacy in that last that last foot or so of the rig. Look, it's a size 20 to 07 on this rig, just, just slightly lighter. There's the rigs. We'll go out and see if we can carry on catching a few fish. I'm going to show you how I prepare it. It's quite simple. It's quite simple. I've just I've got about, I'm going to mix this half a bag I think I've got here, that'll probably be enough for today. Just put that in a bit more, pour that in. As you can see it's it's really fine. It's got the it's got the choco amino in it, it's got crushed hemp, everything that, that the fish love really. It's, as you can see there's probably, probably half a bag there. It's quite simple to mix. It's, it's pretty, like say, so it's pretty foolproof really to mix. So it's just, just a case of adding a little bit of water at a time, just working it with your fingers. To that consistency, well, I'd, it's not quite ready because I'm going to give it a few minutes and it'll absorb, it'll absorb all that water and it'll be quite dry again. So it'll just need a little bit more water. But I normally give it, give it five or ten minutes before you add that that last little bit of water and it should be spot on. I've, I've had some great success with it through the summer months and through the winter on the on the Midlands canals and I've even caught well on it on the river in fishing lakes. So it, it's not just it's not just a river and drain mix. It's it, it's pretty much an all-round ground bait. 
Um, it's quite dark in colour, so it's great for clear water. It mixes up beautiful. It, you can't really mess it up when you mix it up. When you take your time, add water a little bit at a time, it, you just can't mess it up. It's, it's, it's pretty foolproof, really. Right, then we come to the very end of the session now. I've literally, we've had four, four hours fishing in the freezing cold. It started off a bit iffy, caught after about an hour. And then the last hour, it's been really good. I'm catching right here on the, on the end of a top kit, but we're, like, we're literally losing the light now. So I'm going to have another couple of minutes fishing and we're going to have a look at what we've got. And it's been a, been a decent session considering how cold it's been. Mm -hmm.